This call is subject to monitoring eight o'clock yet. Recording. Thank you for using Evercom. Hello? It's not 8 o'clock yet. I know, but I'm tired. I got, I'm going to go to bed early tonight. Why? Are you mad that I called early? I just walked in the door. Oh, really? What were you doing outside blowing snow? No. No, he said no? I no, was in the garage working on I'm, someone. I'm giddy because I'm so tired. I'm just like, he, everything's funny. Huh? I'm so tired. Everything's funny tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. It's really cold up here. I wish I was at your house cuddled in a big warm blanket laying down watching TV. Me and Jordy both are like, oh, I wish we were at Chucky's house. Just crashed out, wrapped up in blankets, watching TV and drinking a cold one. I was like, yeah. Well, that's drinking a cold one? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I need one after today. Oh, my God. These women are driving me in. Patty, they're fighting over silly shit in the world. It's so okay. crazy up here. Bitching and arguing and, oh. Oh, the reason I didn't call you from work today is because I left your number on my bed. Because they didn't let me out till 9 o'clock. I was supposed to start at 7. And they didn't have my paperwork right, so I didn't go in till 9. I made a big whopping 21 bucks today. Woohoo, huh? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'll take you out on the town on that one, honey. Well, you you, paid, you got paid by the hour, or...? Yeah, I get seven bucks an hour. I only work three hours, so... Okay. But I'm going to work uh, five tomorrow, so... I did pretty good. It's not that hard of a job. It's, um, basically, I'm, I'm a rep for... A, I'm representing a um, health insurance agent who works for an insurance company in the county that I'm calling. And what I do is I kind of, like, get a free amp location for their health insurance if they don't have any. Mm -hmm. And then I tell them that he, my supervisor is going to call him to verify. And then my supervisor calls and verifies. And then when he gets that paper, he calls them and tells them, okay, blah, 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 this is how much it's going to cost and da, 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 and, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's an okay job. My boss is laid back, so I'll get out, though. You're not going to believe what I got in the mail today. With Child support mail? shit. Huh? Child support stuff to pay to make payments for my child support. My first day of work, right? I just started. You know what I mean? I just fucking started my job today. I mean, child support doesn't even know I got this job, I don't think yet. And they're sending me these paper things with, with stickers and the envelope <laughs> to send them money. I'm in jail. It's fucking hilarious. I'm just laughing my ass off. Mm -hmm. It made me crack up so hard. I was like, oh, my God. I didn't get to go to school tonight because of the weather. I don't know if I'll get to take my test tomorrow. That pisses me off because I studied really fucking hard. I did really good on my um, other tests. I took three of them. They're uh, pre-tests. I yeah, did really, yeah. really good. I got a feeling I'm just going to zoom through this. I'm really geeked on that. I want to get this done. So I, I want to take a course in college. I'm going to take this. Um, this uh, hang on a second. Okay. Um, I'm going to read this little thing I can take once I get this HSED thing done. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll have it done by the time, oh, shit, oh, by the time I get out of here, because I want to take this apprentice class. And it is, here it is. It's, um, it's called Maintenance, Mechanic, and Millwright. It's yeah. a journeyman level card. It's 8,320 hours which is 576 hours of school, and evening night, you get eight hours at night, but you get to go on the job and learn the job and then go to school and learn the um, technical parts of it. Mm -hmm. And you get paid, your, your starting monthly salary is anywhere between 2,253 and 4,200 a month. That's fucking good money. I don't care what anybody says. And yeah, it's just does, once you get a job, though. Well, it's, I'm going to be on a job. It's broken... Or in, just in, uh, in On the job training. Yeah, but it's also a journeyman. It's an apprenticeship. Yeah, okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to go, um, I'll go to school and get learn the technical parts of it, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll go on the job and learn the uh, hands-on part. Mm-hmm. And get paid to do it, too. Pretty cool, huh? I can do that one. There's all kinds of them. There's um, plumbing, masonry, um... Printing, sheet metal, construction, um, tool and die, carpentry, um, what else is there? 
environmental service technician, industrial electrician, a machinist. There's a lot of them. Oh, yeah. You know, and that's right at LTC, the college out there mm -hmm. on the way to Sheboygan. Do you know what I'm talking? Yeah. Yeah, so I could take a bus there. Can I? Isn't there like a bus that runs there? I'm sure I can find somebody to sure drive me that. every day or whatever days I go to school. But that's my major plan. That's like the biggest plan. I want to learn how to do something cool, you know, that will always be with me and no matter where I go, I can always use it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's well, you got good. your driver's license, don't you? No, I'm in here for drunk driving. <laughs> my fourth offense, me and Jody are <laughs> right on the numbers. I said between the two of us, we got nine drunk driving. She started laughing. We were cracking up so hard. I've been trying to cheer her up, you know, keep her laughing and stuff. Well, what you know can you get them back, though? I can get them back probably when I am 40. That's four years from now, right at the time I graduate college. <laughs> four years? Yeah. I got to pay the fines and everything yet. I even I have to go through alcohol classes and. Okay, okay, never mind. I was I was thinking 46. Uh, okay, never mind. <laughs> 46. Who's 46? Nobody. That's right. Not me, man. You got me confused. <laughs> I'm only going to be 36. I'm yeah, still a no. baby. I want to stay the baby forever. So how was your Valentine's Day? Like any other day. Boring? Lonely? Depressing? No, working day. Oh, he worked, huh? Well, yeah, he worked. My friend got engaged. Isn't that romantic? I'm like, oh, my best friend's getting married. I made him cry. I was like, wow, that's so cool. I'm really happy for her. She's getting engaged. Yeah, she got her um, fiancé and get, uh, asked her to marry she him. She did or? Huh? Who did? My best friend, Tina, that runs um, off Paul's Pet Salon in Manitowoc here on Washington Street. Okay. Yeah, that's my best friend in the whole world. We've been friends for 23 years. 24 now. Yep. Her fiancé asked her to marry him on Valentine's Day. She accepted, so she's engaged. I'm like, oh my God! She wrote me a big letter. I made her. I promised, made her promise to come and see me on Tuesday. So she's coming up here Tuesday night to see me from seven to nine. Mm -hmm. I made her promise. I'm like, you bitch, you better promise, man, because you said if I went through all this crap, you would be there for me. And she's like, I know. Oh, I hate jail. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, so what? I hate it more, and I'm in it. So you need to come up here and see me. She's like, I said promise, and she said, okay, I promise. <laughs> I got her to come. That's great. I can't wait to see her. I just want to tell her. Because I'm doing really good. I think I'm doing good. For being in the box, I think I'm doing pretty good. I've got no choice but to do good. I don't know. I'd probably do the same thing if I was on the outside. It really wouldn't make a difference because I really want to do this stuff, you know? Now that I'm home, I've got more. I don't have to be running around like a chicken with my head cut off. I can settle down and relax. Yeah. You know? When I was out on the run, it was hard because I was always afraid that if I let too much information out, somebody would get caught up on me and, like, call the cops. And I was always, you know, real um, fresh office. I wouldn't let a lot of people in, you know what I mean, as far as friends or, you know, let anybody get close to me because I didn't want them to find out I was on the run. And when you get to trust people, you just kind of let shit out like that because you think you can trust them and then you find out you can't. So, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, what are you going to do with all the snow? Who are you calling? Did I lose you? No. Oh, I thought I did. But I'm, I'm, I was going to put you on speakerphone. Why? So you can go lay down and relax, <laughs> my voice? <laughs> no, no. No, no, no. You got company? No. No. Me having company? I don't think so. I wish I could come over. I'd come over and bug you. Yeah, you can keep me company. When I get out, I'm going to stay there by you. Well, you are. Yeah, me and Jody decided we're going to move in and live with you. <laughs> <laughs> we should it be fun. Mm -hmm. Right? So you can have one end of the trail, I mean the house, and uh, you can have the other end. Well, where are you going to stay? I'll have one of the ends. One of the ends? Yeah. There's only two ends, right? Well, yeah, there's only two ends. Oh. 
No, we're getting, she said there's a, you got three bedrooms or something, or two bedrooms, I don't know. We were laughing because we we've already had it all planned out. She'd take a room, I'd take a room, and she said, she said, yeah, I said, well, we might as well just share a room. I said, we're going to be bugging each other all the time anyway. She started laughing. She's like, yeah, we are, aren't we? I said, yeah. It's pretty funny. No, there's, there's, uh, actually, there's three bedrooms on one side of the house, and, well, it's a trailer, you know? Uh-huh. I, just, I grew up in a trailer. Yeah. But I added on another trailer link. Oh, wow. And, uh... My house trailer is 14 by 70. That's what I grew up in. And the other piece is 14 by 70. So. Wow, so you got 28 by 140. <sighs> I'm just teasing you. I'm too smart if I want to be. Yeah, it's 28 by 140. 66, roughly. 66? How do you get that? Well, when you go by uh, a trailer... I'm just teasing. Yeah, I know it's 70 feet long. I know, not 70 feet I long. I know. That's what the tongue, though. The tongue? The tongue. That's what makes up oh. the four feet. Oh, that's right, because it's, it's the toe part. You, yeah. min you minus the four feet, and that leaves you up with the 66. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because ours had the, um, the crankshaft on the end of the tongue. It was always at the front of my mom's bedroom, and we used to climb in her bedroom window to get... When we lock ourselves out, I had to climb in the window. Okay. I had to use to get in. I had the smallest bedroom in the house, too. It sucked. I hated it. So I stayed outside a lot. So well, the, um, it, it's a house. It, it, well, Jordy's been in it, but... You, did you start writing me my letter yet? No, I didn't. Aw, that makes me sad. Nobody writes me. I have no friends here in our family except for one. That's Tina. All my family's gone. My brother moved away and my mom, she's in Florida right now. And um, Was that where you were staying with her? Yeah, I was staying over on Dale Street with her for a little while until her boyfriend broke my breastbone by punching me because he was fucking retarded. And I, I don't even care. I'm not even going to ever probably go back over there. I just want to get my shit and get out of there. I can't stand him. He's a fucking retard. He throws temper tantrums like a little kid. You should see this man. He's, he's a grown man. Forty-some years old. And he fucking pitches a fit like a two-year-old kid. I ain't never seen nothing like it. Ever. I mean, my kids when they were little didn't even pitch fits like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he's a grown man. He acts like a fucking moron. Embarrassing. I mean, just... God, I wouldn't... You know, Oh my God, I'm gonna have to shoot him. <laughs> it's bad. I can't wait till my mom gets back to him. I'm worried about her. Did you see me on TV? Yeah, you looked really cute. In the office, wasn't I? You were like walking towards something, a building or coming out of a building. They had you a couple different times on the tube. That's my office that you saw me in. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. I could call you and sell you some health insurance. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> but you could talk. I mean, you can call me and whatever. Yeah, I could like act like I'm. You could you could talk for five five minutes or whatever. Yeah, I could act like we're having an insurance conversation. Yeah. Be like, oh, well, thank you. I'll have to call you, Mr. Brown or Mr. Jones. Yeah. Because I can't call you by your name. Because you have one minute left. Holy shit! That went quick, didn't it? Yes, it did. Time sure flies when we're having fun, huh? All right. Well, I have to work tomorrow. I get back here probably like around noon. I'll probably have. Um, if you want, I can call you at between seven and eight o'clock tomorrow night too. If that's okay. I don't care. You don't care? Oh, thank you. Write to me. I want to hear what you got to say on paper. It's yeah, but you can't put that much you on paper. You have 30 seconds left. Oh, no, 30 you can't seconds. put that much on paper. Yeah, you can. You Not can. when everybody reads it down there, downstairs. Well, you can just talk to me. You don't have to be about anything important. Just, I know. You know, whatever. Tell me how the sun shines and the snow and... Yeah. What cars are working on? Yeah, mm -hmm. teach me how to weld. Well, we're going to get cut off otherwise, okay? Yeah, well, we'll I'll talk to you soon then, otherwise. Okay, honey, I'll talk. Thank you for using Evercom.